Okay, here's what we got going on today. Running some cable. Um, my zero gauge cable. I hooked it up to my garage door actually so I can just, as I pull the wires through the car, I can just pull and not have to worry about fucking around with a spool. Uh, I'm also going to do a big three, so there's my alternator. Uh, that should be a treat to get to, but see how it goes. Okay, what I'm doing now is drilling a hole. I couldn't drill a hole, or I had to drill a hole. There's no grommets anywhere in this vehicle. Um, it's like freaking the Terminator built this fucking car, like a RoboCop special or something, but... So I'm drilling holes here for the cable to come through. I thought I was going to get lucky because the car has the wire run from the battery. So I thought I was going to be able to follow the power cable up and find this and go through that grommet. But it's just a, a ring terminal to the firewall. So there's not even a grommet there. So I ended up having to drill. So that's what I'm doing right now. Right, I'm doing it a little different than before. Um, going from the back to the front. So I put the spools in the trunk. And just running the wires here. I'm going to leave them loose. Leave them loose until I get them through the firewall and up to the alternator. Then I'll start burying them. Uh, because of where my wire comes out, I can't reach it with my hand. So I'm using a little copper wire with a hook on the end of it to pull my wire up to where I can reach it. Sorry for the shitty camera-ness. And there's my ground. Okay, that's what it looks like on the inside. This panel's going to come down. Now I'm going to start burying all my wires. Um, and if you watch my Fat Matt video and you're wondering why I didn't do the rest of the car, this is why I didn't do the rest of the car. All the carpet has about an inch and a half of padding on it, so I don't really feel it's necessary. But I don't know, maybe I'll do it later on, but continuing on this. Um, I'm going to run all the wires underneath, along with the factory wiring. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, power cable, ground cable, underneath, buried pretty deep. Um, In my opinion, that's the best way to do it. Get it out of the way if you can't see it. Just bury it as far under your carpet as you can. Uh, you run less a risk of actually pinching the wire then. Especially if it's run along with the factory wiring. This goes under here, it actually comes underneath the seat. and comes out back here. Run close to the factory wiring. So, that's what it looks like.
can see must have went all the way through because it's starting to bubble out around the wire. Yeah. Okay, I got my ground done. Uh, this is going to go from the engine block to the negatives on the batteries. Okay, I took the bolt out of my alternator. Putting that back in. Can't see it, but... There's the bolt, wire, tighten that down, that's it. Okay, I'm going to do a little test. Um, somebody just told me that this is not going to work. This is actually still warm to the touch, uh, but the solder is hardened. There's a pull test. Not even, there's the positive that I just made, uh, hooked up to the positive on the alternator. Um, I didn't put the wire loom on yet. Uh, I still got to hook it up to the fuse, there's the other end of the fuse. So I'm going to get the fuse set up and then put the split loom on and uh, I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. This is how I strip this size wire with the razor blade. Depends on, the, depends on the angle you're going from. Sometimes this can be a lot a lot easier and a lot cleaner than actually using a stripper. This however is not a very good angle. And pulls off. Nice and stripped. Sometimes with a crimper you can actually cut what you don't want to cut. And this way I like it because you can actually feel when you get through the shield and you can feel when you're starting to cut the wire. Okay, I'm all finished up in the engine part now. Um, I got the two of the three done. Here's my negative from the battery to the engine block. I just grounded it to the engine block on the alternator. Uh, and there's my positive coming from the positive on the alternator going to the battery. Um, both the wires come together, fuse, and then they go down into my firewall down there. It's pretty clean looking. All you can really tell is that the fuse is there. Uh, the third wire of the three is going to be from the battery to the chassis. Um, that's going to be later on. Uh, but this is the two. All right. All right. Uh, now I'm done. I'm packing it up for the night. Uh, I've been doing this for like nine hours today. So this is how I left off. Um, started making some bus bars. Um, positive, negative. Haven't really decided how I'm going to wire everything yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And I bet you guys will see it. Alright, good night.